Hi, and thank you for watching. So Mac collaborated with Aladdin. Can you believe it? Are those not the two best things? Pretty much every brunette that I know is like a Jasmine or a Belle, and I'm definitely a Jasmine. So I'm really excited. I have a little bit of everything from the entire collaboration, and I'm really excited to show you how it all worked out. Stay tuned. Say hello to your precious Prince Ali. Or should we say Aladdin? Yes. Your princess is in sweats. You can't see the pants. Why would I wear the pants? So I'm going to get started with just like my regular stuff, brows and foundation and all that. I'm so excited. I haven't even used anything yet. But the first product that we're going to try is the bronzer. Wait, this is powder blush. It looks dark, right? Isn't it kind of like tan? Anyway, so this is powder blush in the color. Your wish is my command. And it is so beautiful. This packaging, shiny packaging is like my worst nightmare because I can already see my fingerprints on it. But this is so pretty. I don't care, I'm using this as a bronzer. How beautiful is this color? Oh, your wish is my command. I've been wanting a live action Aladdin for like as long as I can remember. Take my NARS Eda brush on like the flat side like that. And just rub it right on the lamp. Hoping a genie doesn't come out because I'm not done with my makeup yet and I would be really embarrassed, especially if it was like Barbara Eden or something. To take this, tap off the excess, and then just put it right as a contour. Oh my goodness, this is strong. Okay, hold on. Okay. I don't know, it would be this concentrated. I'm going to press this on my hand and then just press the color. Did I ruin my makeup already? I can save this. Watch. Usually I use the Marc Jacobs and it is not concentrated like that. I think I definitely would love this as a nose contour, just to snatch. This is like strong colored stuff, you guys. So that product Ooh. was definitely not <laughs> for contour. My goodness. How would this even be a blusher color? Like that was like dark brown. I'm going to bake this now. And then my next products are going to be for the eyes. So I'm just gonna do the rest of my face. I'm gonna try really hard to make Princess Jasmine vibes and hope that I don't come out looking like Jafar. <laughs> so the palette is just beautiful. This is the Princess Jasmine palette. There are nine colors inside and they're all like mini, but you do get some neutrals, a dark crease color, and then really fun. It looks like a duochrome shimmer and then just like really beautiful shimmers. Looks like something you'd find in the Cave of Wonders. The eyeshadows do have names. So there's Riff Raff, Rags to Riches, No Ordinary Lamp, Princess Jasmine, Agrabah, Abu, Creative Copper, Live the Genie Life, and Shadowy Lady. What are you waiting for? Go on. So I'm going to take this color right here first on my Sigma E40 as a transition. We will be doing cool tones today, which is fine with me. I've been all about that recently, so that actually works out. I'm thinking this is Riff Raff, but I'm not really sure. So this is really concentrated, wow. You see how much color is being deposited already? Going in circular motions on the crease, blending upward to the inner crease and then blending out the transition. So this will make all of the shimmers and the fun stuff look really well blended, unlike my contour. I love this color. Like I'll actually use this on a regular, you know? With the same brush, I'm going to grab No Ordinary Lamp, I think. That's this pink color right here. Just the third color in the palette. Tap off the excess. I'm just going to use this to buff out the edge. So it blends really nicely. Not too much product. And I'm using very light pressure. I want most of the depth to be in the crease, but I do want it to blend out really nicely. So I'm glad that they had this kind of color in here. You could also use a color like this, like on the lid. I think it's really pretty too. If you do like a cut crease or something, have like a really dark crease and then like a light pink on the lid is really pretty. With my Kylie number 16 brush, it has like old makeup on it, but I'm going to take this color right here. I think this is Shadowy Lady. Is that an existing MAC color? I'm not sure. I'm just going to put this on the outer crease like that. Just kind of stamping it. Everything in this collection is so concentrated. Oh my goodness. I'll blend this out with my Sigma E45. Whew, yeah. I think that adds like a really nice amount of depth to the eye, don't you? With my baby Sigma E25, I'm going to take this color right here and just stamp it like a little bit on the outer crease where I put some of the shadowy lady just to add a different color right here. I like this shorter handled brush because I feel like the closer you hold your brush like the more concentrated your color is so i like to stamp this and have a concentrated amount of color 
Oh, I have some fallout right there. Just brush that away. I wish I had like a medium brown so I could like blend everything. It's okay. I'll just use my E40 to blend everything out. And then layer that color back on again. This is fun. This is like really smoky. I'm going to take my Sigma E35 with this first color that we used and just blend this transition out again. For the lid, I'm going to use this middle color right here and I'm just going to pop it on with my finger. Tap it on my hand first. It's a lot of color was on there. And just apply this to the lid. Just tap it into the palette. Tap off the excess onto your hand and apply. This is a nice gold. It's like a creamy gold. It's not yellow. It's not green. It's a creamy gold and I like it a lot. I love that. I'm just going to blend right here. So I threw on some liner and lashes and I have on the new Too Faced liquid liner. Probably not the most appropriate name for a liner since this is an Aladdin video and maybe kids will be watching. It was an okay liner. I love felt tip liquid liners. It was like elongated applicator and I felt like it was kind of scary like to control. And also the felt already felt <laughs> like it was drying, which happens a lot with felt tip liners. I'm going to take this Kylie 16 brush again. I'm going to mix this color and this color. Blend this on my lower lash line. It's really lightly because I don't want this to be so smoky, you know? Just like that. I think that's perfect. You can do a shimmer on the bottom if you like. I love the look of that a lot. I used to do it, but I don't like it on me. I love it. Makeup girls with lower lash lines that are just sparkly and beautiful. I love it. For me, I just like the smokier, darker colors. I think it like opens my eyes, makes them look bigger. I need to do something about this contour. <laughs> I'm going to try to hide it with some blusher. This is also by MAC and this is Peach Twist. Hopefully to blend out that really harsh line that we've created. I think that we are good. And then I'm just going to buff away all the baking now. We're almost to the lipstick. I'm going to apply some Chanel Rosy Outlook. This contour is driving me nuts. <laughs> I can't stand this contour. I wish that my hair could just be done so I could move on to the lipstick. Why? And oh my goodness, I should have left the palace earlier. <laughs> so our hair is done. I have some weave in. And now we are ready to try on the lipsticks. MAC discontinued my favorite lip liner ever, Morning Coffee but I do have a couple boxes left. So I'm going to use it as my lip liner for all these colors that we're trying out today. The first color that I'm going to try is called Princess Incognito. So this is like a, what does it say on the website? I don't know how to explain anything. So let me see. Okay, perfect. So this is a neutral pinky rose. What a perfect color. So this is like matte. Oh my goodness. This is just like a really beautiful, like everyday lipstick. It doesn't give me away with the overlining and it's like really nice. Like I have quite a tan on right now and this is just like a perfect, it's not like a nude nude. I don't usually wear like nude nudes. Like I like that a little bit more pinkier like lip color. So this is like definitely a your lips but better. Oh my gosh, I love this. So this is Princess Incognito. Oh, it was so beautiful. Okay, so the next color to try is Raja, and this is a muted red berry. So I'm just as excited about this. Yeah. Oh, this is like the perfect berry color. I'm going to keep this and wear this all fall. Are you kidding me? I have to like sit on my foot when I'm excited. Do you guys ever have that? Like, I can't just like sit back and be like, oh, hey guys, I have to like sit on my foot and be like, hey, you guys, can you believe this? So this color, so smooth. So sometimes when you wear berry colors, they are kind of blotchy and just like not very even, but this went on so evenly. It is the perfect amount of like color and just like the perfect depth of berry. This is really beautiful. I'm going to keep this and wear this all the time in the fall. Are you kidding me? And I spray tan in the fall, so I will be this color. <laughs> How pretty is this? Like, I love berry tones. This is so pretty. I don't usually, like, I don't wear these, like, on the daily, but in the fall. Or just, like, when you know, like, maybe in the evening, like, you have somewhere to be. This is so nice, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know which one I like better, the first one or the second. Oh, this is, like, by far, like, the most exciting part of this video. So, lastly, we have Friend Like Me. 
And this is a cool neutral beige. Why didn't I do the nude first? This would look really nice on lighter skin also. I like this kind of color because I pair it with a darker lip liner. So I like to go around the edges like this. Okay, so honestly, this is probably the least flattering for me. This would look really nice on like lighter skin tones, but with a, the right lip liner, I don't mind it at all. There's so many people out there who this would be the most flattering for. I'm glad they have a little bit of everything. So that is it, you guys. That is what I purchased from the collection. I'm so excited that I got to share this with you. I am so excited for this collab. I'm so excited for the movie. I'm so jazzed up. Huh. Jasmine. <laughs> I'm so jazzed up right now. Like even though the contour was like a complete fail for me, you should see this in person. It's like <clears throat> just getting to try this all out, getting to do a video like this. I am so excited and thank you so much for watching it. It's going to take everything I have not to wear this to the theater because I mean like I might. I have like an Aladdin t-shirt and I have a denim jacket my sister got me from the Disney store. My amazing sister got me this denim jacket from the Disney store. You could make this more casual with something like this, right? <laughs> this makes sense in my head, but opening night, I want to wear this like really badly to the theater. And then maybe when I take my niece and nephew to watch the movie, then I'll wear my... Hi! Then I'll wear my Aladdin shirt and that denim jacket. I am definitely planning my outfits for all the times that I'm going to watch this movie. I am so excited. What are you going to wear? It's me and Raja. Hi, my little Raja. I actually have two Rajas. My first Raja. <laughs> the year that I wore this costume, she was this Raja. You know how like usually like in movies, like when there's like an inspirational quote, people will be like, I really felt that. Well, when the Sultan said to Raja, Allah forbid you should have any daughters. I really felt that and it really it spoke to me a lot. So I have no children, just Rajas. <sighs> I never want to take this off. How can I not go to the movie like this? Like I have all this stuff. What other even option is there? Okay. And I'll do my hair better too. I feel, is there another option of like what I can wear? 